How's it going my dudes? Welcome back to another video. If you have been a long-term player or if you have been playing for the past week and a half, then this is not going to be news for you. So unfortunately, you may check out. But if you want to support the channel, you can continue to watch this. This is going to be more for the newbies. Recently, we had a surge of newcomers coming in so much so that we even hit the 2 million global users milestone. So without further ado, let's talk about a number of ways that we can play for free without using our stamina. So sometimes while you are playing, you will notice that at the top left, there is a bell and that bell would sometimes ring and turn green and when that happens, someone is actually requesting for help to challenge a specific boss. However, do note that when the bell rings, uh, it doesn't actually ring for everyone in the world. If not, there will be a quick influx of players that just squeeze into the room, right? I've tested this out. The bell actually only goes out to select players. It doesn't go out to everyone. So if you receive a bell, you have been so-called luckily chosen to be included in the current boss fight. And naturally, the bell will ring more during the day hours of the current time zone of the server that you are in, right? So if you are located in the sea region but you are playing in a North American server, be prepared that the bells will only ring late into the night. And if you have disabled the game music for the time being, you can always go to game settings and go down to vibration settings. So when an assist is requested, the bell will actually vibrate your phone. And the cool thing about this bell is that it activates wherever you are. So whenever you're doing any kind of solo content, be it in the story mode or be it in the events, you will still get the bell and then you can actually just join them and pause where you are currently. So when you're done with the boss fight, you will actually come back to where you will last stop before the bell. And there you go, a bell has just rang and yeah, don't look at his name, but we are going to do an Orochi run and I can show you that it is indeed free over here. So we can just ready up, wait for someone else to join and get this over and done with. Now when the run is about to end, um, if you are a new player, I would highly recommend that you just follow as many people as you can. You have a lot of spare room, so you want to try your best to get as many common mutual follows as much as possible, okay? Because that will bring us to the next way which you can get free runs. So at the end, over here, do not spam too much. Okay, over here you can see that you can follow people, okay? It says following but actually when you press it, uh, you will actually follow that person and then hopefully the person actually follows you back and then you can click return to room. Okay, if you click return to room, it's no longer free. But if they follow you back, you will actually enter the room for free. And that's where my next point is. And the second way that you can get free runs is if you mutually follow people. So as you can see here, I've mutually followed someone who's called sub to free to play and it costs zero stamina. So all you need to do is you get ready inside uh, and they start and then that's it. And you can just keep repeating this cycle. You as a player who has joined the host, will be running endlessly for free until the other player runs out of stamina of course. And as you can see over here, when you click return to room, now you don't get the prompt that you have no more energy, right? Because now literally everything is free. So this is one way that you can test whether the other player has followed you back or not. And the third way to run free, so to speak, is that as you notice that your energy is going lower and you're about to level up, I think it could be a good idea that you host a room because Generally speaking, bosses do give a lot of energy, okay? So if you do host a room with whatever spare energy that you have and you beat the boss, you have a really good chance, okay, especially when you're lower level, to level up from just a couple of boss runs. So with that, that's how you actually replenish your energy for free in the early game to continue your storyline until you reach the next stamina wall whereby you start another boss fight and gain that next level again. And of course, the fourth way which is how most people are abusing the system is to just create a new account. You can create a brand new account on an emulator or on a, on a separate device and you can just link yourself up like this and run endlessly because as soon as your mule is like depleted of stamina, you can just use the mule's beat currencies to refill their own energy, their own stamina and then you can just continue running endlessly. So you just need to make sure that you can protect your mule. So that's why I bring Regitare in my team because as soon as my mule starts to die out, Regitare is here to revive them. And the fifth way to get free runs is to just simply go onto Discord, right? There's always going to be a bunch of people hosting rooms and looking for people to fill in the roles. As long as you're able to do your part and ensure that the run fulfills itself, people will be more than happy to involve you into their runs. Look out for such hosts and go crazy. And of course, an extension of the fifth way to get free runs is the sixth way to get free runs which is to have a cycling program with two other players. Player A can host several rounds until he's depleted of stamina and then player B goes in to take over the hosting and then player C continues the hosting afterwards. So when you continue this cycle, 
it's very easy for everyone to continuously gain levels until about level 50. And the seventh way, which is really abusing the system, is to have a host. It doesn't have to be a sub account. The host just needs to host the room and then let other players join. And then when the host starts the room, the host DCs, all right? The host just disconnects. And what happens is the other two players can actually continue the run for free and the host doesn't lose any stamina abusing this system. So there you go, these are seven different ways in which you can get free runs. And I hope that if you're a new player, you can let me know down in the comments any questions that you may have, and I'll be more than happy to help you with any of the problems that you face throughout your early journey. So with that said, this has been Free to Play by the way. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out a lot. And with that, I'll see you as always in the next video.